Today I'm with Brad. Brad, how old are you? 75. Brad, I approached you because and asked you if you were homeless. How long have you been homeless? Uh, about a month and a half, two months, something like that. I've been staying with uh, people that I know, so I really haven't kept track, you know. And how did you end up on the streets at your age? Well, I, through divorce primarily, and then people came uh, to live with me and they promised to pay and they didn't bring the money. And so consequently, I couldn't make the rent. Do you have family that can help you, that you re reach out to? Well, not really, no. I reached out to all the family that I can and we just, kind of, we're kind of in separation right now. So my son and I are arguing a little bit. So your son's not very helpful right now? Not right, right now. Kind of fighting a little bit, okay. Yeah. I asked you if, uh, if you wanted me to take you to CAS, that's Central Arizona Shelter Services, that's in downtown Phoenix. But you said, what'd you say? Uh, from what I've heard, no, I don't want to go there. From, from all I've heard, not over the internet, from, from people talking, you know. What do they say? They say it's a, it's a terrible place to go. And they didn't give me particulars. They just, you know, said they wouldn't go back. Okay, and they, you'd rather just stay away from that, uh, like a shelter such as that, as opposed to being out here in the streets? You're if probably I, safer. I, I prefer staying away if I can, but I may not be able to. Right. Yeah. Okay. And uh, you mentioned that you do receive uh, Social Security, like a pen is it a pension or? It's Social Security. Got it. And I ha a very small pension from Chevron. Okay. And do you think that's enough for you to survive? It's enough for me alone. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And. Uh, have you noticed all the dangers out here, Brad? Oh, yeah. And I hear about some of them, but, you know, if, if I can just get a place to be into, I wouldn't worry about them. Do people bother you at all? Any, any violence or anybody mean to you, bully you or anything? Only my son? No, no. Everybody else is respectful. Okay, hopefully your son behaves, right? And yeah, hopefully he starts behaving, yeah. It's just, uh, you know, you worked all your life, right? right. And uh, you retired and you're trying to enjoy uh, your years remaining in peace and harmony. And uh, I don't think you should be out here in the streets, right? What do you think? Uh, I would hope I wouldn't be, but... And we're going to try to fix it, but... All you can do is keep trying. You mentioned you do go to church? Yes. Has that been helping you as far as uh, oh. your spirituality? Always helps me, yes. Okay. Yeah, praying and, and being uh, faithful and having faith in God and, and it kind of helps you a little bit, huh? Gives oh, yeah. Gives you that rock? It gets, and it gets results, too. He Good. Does, he does treat me well. Okay. Um, a lot of people out here, Brad, are doing uh, these pills, uh, counterfeit fentanyl pills. Uh, they call them blues. Mm -hmm. uh, you're aware of them, right? You've yes. seen them and unfortunately passed by, probably smelt them. How, how do you feel about those pills? I think they're terrible. Unfortunately, my son uses them. And we haven't been able to get him off of them. But, you know, it's one thing I pray for every day. How old is your son? 44. And how long has he been using those pills? Oh, I would say about three years. Gosh, just lost everything too, huh? Yeah. I, it seems to me, looking at, looking at it, hearing your story, that he's the one dragging you down. It seems to me that way too, but I try, I try not to look at it that way, but. It's true. So what now, Brad? What 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 are you, what are your plans? Well, I'm just going to have to get a place, obviously. Without him. Without him. 
and, see, and then see if I can help him in some way or another. But Brad, your son has to help himself first, right? If he doesn't want help, he's just kind of gonna, he's gonna just bleed you dry. Yeah. Is what it looks like, right? He comes well, to you for money I'm, and a room and a place to stay. And that's what I'm trying to stay away from. I'm not gonna help him that much anymore. Yeah. I know you love him, he's your son and you should take care of him and all this stuff like that, but he's, he's 44 years old and uh, he, he, he uh, it's it's tough, right? Because it's, at what point does a, is a parent enabling their behavior right yeah when is it love and when is it enabling you know it's hard that's right and so that's probably where you're at your predicament that's why you're out here in the streets because of his addiction it seems like yeah that's really sad brad i'm, I'm that's really uh, breaks my heart because again you worked your entire life to to earn what you've earned with your social security and your pension and it seems like that money is going to him because you're trying to help him not hurt him you want to help him but you're arguing right now probably because he, he wants money. You don't want to give it to him, <laughs> right? Yeah, I took my I took my card back, my, my debit card. Can't have it anymore. Um, Brad, I'm going to give you my card with my number. Okay. Um, so here's my card with my number. Okay. Uh, please uh, call me if... Um, if you need a ride to treatment. I'm sorry, not to, to uh, just call me if you need a ride to a shelter. Uh, if your son ever does decide, hey dad, I, I want help, I want treatment. I'll, you know, I'll pick him up and take him, oh, okay? Wonderful. Yeah, so people out here uh, really do care about you and they we, we want you to get better and, and you don't deserve this, yeah. okay? Uh, you should enjoy the rest of your life and not be dragged down by, you know, people that, um, you know, family, unfortunately, sometimes family, right? Uh, that don't want to play by the rules, basically, right? Yeah. So, uh, again, thank you very much for talking to me, Brad. Well, thank you. Um, stay safe and uh, we'll talk very soon, okay? okay? If anybody out there wants to help Brad in any way, any capacity, let me know. He's looking for a place. A room a small room for himself uh, he's able to pay rent uh, if it's uh, reasonable right Brad right so uh, please reach out to me if you guys want to help Brad uh, do you need clothes or anything well I do now but I'll get him over time but got it yeah. okay anybody wants to help Brad please reach out to me and uh, I'll stay in contact with Brad okay so again thank you very much Brad we'll talk soon thank you very much